I'd also like to thank the judges in advance, uh, who you will be introduced to, introduced to. And I would like to thank you for coming on this evening and supporting the Representative Council. Tonight's event is very special because not only are we about to witness a competition of imaginative and creative talent from various members of our community, but tonight we are joined together under the umbrella of the Redbridge Jewish Youth Council. I hope, as I know you will, have a pleasant day and enjoy. Thank you. Now, this is the real uh, skill of it. 
And in fact, two years ago, I did in fact do the same job right here in this place. And I was so successful, uh, they didn't invite me back the following year. Uh, and it's taken two years really to forget what an appalling disaster that was and, and to get around to ask them to come back again. Uh, and the idea is that it, it's highly technical, actually. There's a system backstage here whereby they will let me know when they are ready and set up for the first song. Uh, and this is done by pushing me through the curtains or, or, or saying something like you see, or something like that. So if you hear sounds like that, it's not a collapse of the pneumatic guitar. It's not a collapse of the pneumatic guitar system. It is to tell me that the first group is ready now. And the first group, I don't know why I'm doing this, because you've got it all in your program anyway, so you should be able to do it. The first group is Supply MDA. Well, there you go. So you know, now, I was just testing that. Uh, the first group, of course, see? They're all on the ball there. They know who they are, but you do. And you should have been checking. Now, follow, please. Pay attention. Last year's winners, of course. Last year. And we all remember, don't we? Those of us that weren't here last year. We all remember. <laughs> and it was, of course, the famous Harbonim drawer. Those of you who haven't become members of Harbonim, you have to buy a shoebox. And if you do that, you make a brick, and then you become a member. That's how it's done. I never got to a shoebox. Like um, Harbonim drawer, and they're going to sing the song. Shalom the Israel uh, and Usher later will explain to you what that means. Okay? Uh, and of course we'll get translations in two languages after they sign. So now over to Harbonim Drawer, last year's winner with Shalom the Israel. Now this next group, uh, of course, uh, I've just 
mentioning them to you before. Uh, supply NDA. NDA stands for Magin David Adon. And uh, of course, you would have guessed immediately that, that wasn't NDA because they were dressed in blue and Magin David Adon was dressed in red. Um, and this is a group of uh, teenagers who are raising money in the area for Magin David Adon, uh, which is the Israeli uh, first aid service and uh, blood banks and so on. And for those of you that haven't contributed money to them yet, I'm sure that you will in the not too distant future. I understand that they, uh, they, they don't seem to be too sure how much money they've raised or got, but uh, it, estimates fluctuate somewhere around a thousand pounds in the bank to whatever. And they've been going for only eight months, and I think that's quite a remarkable achievement on their part. Um, and for those of you that haven't thought about it, just a little plug for Israel here, for those of you that haven't thought about it, besides giving money, when you visit Israel, why not think about giving blood? Yeah? So just that. But now we're going to listen to a song called Supply the State of Israel. I have no doubt that this is a homegrown song. It doesn't strike me as the kind of word which will hit the hit parade in a large way. So I presume it was composed by them. Supply the State of Israel by Supply MDA.
Is it working? Oh. <laughs> uh, is it like exciting? Yeah. What did I tell them to be quiet? And that was, of course, where you can see why they need the blood now, can't you? Um, well, the, the next group, I just thought of that. Last time I did this, people said, what a wonderful script you had. Who wrote it? Anyway, uh, the next group we've got is Gin Jives. Now, um, they tried to persuade me that Gin stands for Gant Hill, Ilford and Newbury Park. But somebody let slip that they also, one of their activities is going to the pub on Tuesday night. So I suspect that there are in fact two meanings to that. Jives, of course, is the Jewish Youth Voluntary Service. And, if you haven't been scared off by the last offering of people writing words to their own songs, uh, this one also was written by them. Now, Jives is a group that goes around doing a lot of good voluntary work. Um, they, in, a, in a hurried moment outside, they told me they babysit for old age pensioners. I think they got a little mixed up. Uh, they do gardening for the social services. So, Mr. Mayor, if you wondered why the garden is so nice around the social services office, it's because they do the gardening for everyone. Uh, and, uh, and that kind of thing, whatever that means. So, uh, so if any of you have got a spare moment and you want to babysit for a garden or uh, <laughs> give an old age pension to a social service, this is the group to join. I just had the subtle thump in the back. <laughs> <laughs> and so now, ladies and gentlemen, um, stretching the meaning of the word somewhat, life, in the AJY from Jinjai.
That was quite good. That was quite good. It was brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> I'll get the autograph. <laughs> I'll get the autograph. The next group. Hello. Hello. You're doing well, yeah? Um, is this working at all? Anybody else know? Um, the next group has, with disarming honesty, told me the truth behind their particular performance. This is Woodford County School. <laughs> and, and they tell me um, that they tried to back out, but couldn't, uh, at the last minute. That's true. And um, the, the song, as you see in your program here, that The Hills of Jerusalem, is the name of an old song about Jerusalem, and they're not going to sing it. Uh, instead, the song that they're going to sing is one that they wrote um, at a, um, I think in these things we have to wait for inspiration, and, uh, and they waited till this afternoon. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and it's, it's not exactly the hills of Jerusalem, I think it's more of the sort of the pits, you know. It's, 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 it's Jerusalem, it's something like that Jerusalem anyway. You know, like that. And, um, and, and they do assure me that they're, that they're in this, uh, you know, for the spirit of the competition and not in order to win. They did ask me to ask you to help them along and encourage them. It does just occur to me, though, that since the last group did uh, Life in the Age of Wine, they've obviously managed in that way, somehow, to get Alan Greenbat in their pockets, that uh, perhaps Woodford County is now rapidly writing a letter, something like, um, uh, zap it to me, youth and heifer, looks to pass the door, or something like that, in order to get Asher Lichtenberg on their side. But anyway, we'll see what sort of song turns out. Help them along, clap, sing the words, you'll know them as well as they do. All right, and here we are, guys.
is, is, is one of the smallest groups uh, that's being offered on this particular um, point. Uh, Barking side JYC. Some people have wondered in this area what Barking side JYC is for. Um, and and I, I know the answer now. Uh, like all Jewish clubs, it's for making shidduchim. It's, it's <laughs> finding partners for its members, and, and, and Barking side wastes no time. Uh, we have here a, a, a duo. A young lady and a young gentleman. Now the gentleman is very shy, and he's going to be staying somewhat in the background, so you have to look around. <laughs> but he's the guy with the guitar, <laughs> and the lady he is the one with out. She's doing. Uh, look, there are steps in front of me. Uh, too strong a thump, and I fall. Uh, and she's singing a song called "Israel, You Mean Everything to Me." It was written by another member of Barkingside Jewish Youth Club, who I don't know if he or she is present, but whoever they are, they didn't have the courage to sing it anyway. So uh, they've given the privilege to another young lady called Rachel, Rachel Silver, and so please, can we? Park inside Jewish Youth Center. Uh, 
Actually, my own memories of MDA, when I went to Israel with a group of kids, I decided to show them how easy it was to give blood. And so I and one of the Madrifot that were with us decided to go and give blood, and uh, the children sort of stood around and asked us if we'd heard or if we were okay and so on. They were very impressed by the fact that actually giving blood is, is a very simple thing to do. It doesn't take long. It really doesn't hurt anybody. You don't get a general anaesthetic, and the, the, the scalpels are kept to the minimum, and so on. It's very simple, and I was trying to encourage the kids to feel that when they were old enough, they too could give blood. Um, and it was all going extremely well. Uh, and, and eventually I filled up my sack or two of blood, and, uh, and was going to get up and get the cup of tea, which, which comes out very yellow and thin in Israel. Um, and they call it orange juice. And, uh, <laughs> My cup of tea and a biscuit, and, uh, and, and then you know, all the kids said, are you all right? Is it fine? Is it? And I said, yeah, sure, no problem. And, and the Madrika also got up, and she said, yes, fine, and turned white and collapsed. <laughs> and, uh, so that sort of undid all the, all the work, you know, I felt like I was going to ask for it back or something. Um, I know one doctor who always threatens that if somebody complains, they'll put it back in. <laughs> Uh, but it is actually a simple thing to do and a good thing to do. But if you don't get around to giving blood, at least you can give money. And you've now got two groups in the area to do that to uh, supply MDA. Or the group we now have, State 48. The song was written by them. Uh, the best fundraisers in town. And I presume it is an egocentric theme. Yes. State 48.
long way to go with it. Um, now, the Nair Kiva, as so many of you may know, is one of the largest youth organizations in the, um, in the country, Jewish youth organizations. And um, as a result, they have two of the largest youths to uh, sing for you. Um, Oh, pay attention, there's no point in my making jokes if you're all talking amongst yourself. I'm really good. <laughs> now, you're going to laugh for one at a time, you'll be able to laugh. Stay together. Yeah. Now, uh, Bnei Kiva, yes, you all know what Bnei Kiva is, don't you? Which saves me the bother of having to explain it. It's, it's her bonnie wig couples on. And, uh, <laughs> and, and it's, it's, uh, it's all about it. Right? Again, yeah. and, um, uh, and, and these notes seem to have got the season wrong. I understand they're going to make you work for this, uh, so um, even if they don't win, they'll get something of their own back on you. <laughs> so you're going to be expected to, uh, to make some effort here and uh, to join in and that sort of thing. So do please pay attention. The song is called When, for the simple and expedient reason, like so many Jewish songs and songs are called, that it is the first word. So I won't call it When, as opposed to the second word. Two members for the Nair Kiva are going to sing. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. Um, well, I should tell you uh, for this next group. This next group, uh, you may not have heard of it. Uh, it's the Rudjuk, uh, famous Rudjuk, uh, otherwise known as Redbridge Jewish Youth. <laughs> production this with costume, costume and lights and you've no idea, the whole thing. And I should mention at this particular point that Miles Foreman, who's been playing the organ for a variety of other groups, this time is playing as a member of the group, okay? So he's uh, part of this particular thing. Um, so on this occasion, you look at him in an entirely different light. He looks like a Redbridge Jewish youth and community centre person now, whereas on other occasions he looks like a highly professional sessions musician um, available to play and commit to his uh, mayor's partners at the whole thing. Okay, so now we have the Redbridge Jewish Youth and Community Centre, Jews from Russia. Like a 
they're actually going to sing a song called Arti, Arti, which means I'm reliably informed by the education department here, my land. So the theme is much the same, but the words are different. And uh, this song was written by uh, by the national, whatever he is, president or chairman, whatever they call him in BBYA, hey, a member of the Ilford chapter. So for those of you that thought that Ilford was constantly dragging behind the rest of the Jewish community, in BBYA apparently it leads the way. Uh, so, so this is a song written by a mucker and sung by... Not many of those around. And sung by BBYA from Ilford, Artsy. Spirit, who 
which is one of those people who I owe phrases that I learned once. Um, and the Ilford BBYO chapter actually is one of the largest in the country, and not only that, uh, it won the Southern Region Best Chapter in the Southern Region and the National Best Chapter in, in the Nation. And next year, I understand it's, it's going on for Best BBYO Chapter in the Universe, uh, which it won't dream. That's a good one on Mars. Um, now, they're, they're singing uh, We Are Free, uh, which is not a signal for you all to get up at the end and leave, uh, because I'm going to explain to you straight afterwards what's going to happen. So please stay in your seats. That's why we're not concluding with Adon Alam. Uh, stay in your seats, and, uh, and I'll explain to you what happens in the next year. But for the time being, let's hear BBYO with We Are Free.
uh, to show impartiality, they would be grateful if every group will give them bribes uh, so that they, they, they show no favoritism. Checks to be made payable to try for the one. Excuse, can I just ask you to move your chairs? Thank you. So, how are you doing? Uh, I want any problems? Yeah, I want to lower it. To lower it? Yeah. No, 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 no. Lower the camera side. Just turn it. Just... Ah, uh, this? Okay, yes. So, that should be very tight. Yeah. Right. Yes. I think, he said, I think he said it working already, I'm not sure. It's working now. It's on. It seems silly to set it on. Ray Banner. Put it in. It will be on record and play. If you're putting it through there, Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the what's known as the crucial part of the evening. Uh, we are we have here on the stage our three judges who have made up their minds and they know the winners. What we're going to do, we're going to ask each of one of them to read out their marks. And the winning, the winning team will be presented by the Mayor of Redbridge with this year's trophy. Together also with the, this, the second team will be presented with the second <coughs> marks. Now, we have two sets of marks for each judge. The first one is for originality. their trophy and also may I ask them, whoever they may be, to stay behind on the stage <laughs> to for a photograph for the press. Right, without any further ado, I'm going to hand over to the judges. We'll start off with Asher, okay? And we're now going to read out his marks for originality.
So without any further ado, I, I, I'd like to thank everybody involved. If I missed anybody out, I must apologise. Um, thank you all for coming on this evening. And now I'm going to hand over to the Mayor of Redbridge making the presentation of the two trophies. Thank you. 